ICT announces 13 member squad for Dhaka test against Wendy's in Gulkai Strong. Assalamu alaikum. I'm sure to be welcoming me to news at 10 on BTV, BTV World, and BTV Chattagam Center. And on the official days of BTV World, the headlines we have details of those and other stories. More than 150 retired officers of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force expressed solidarity with the Awami League and pledged to work for the party's victory in the upcoming national elections. The retired officers expressed their solidarity with the Awami League in presence of Prime Minister and Awami League President Sheikh Hasira at a function today. Earlier, the retired armed forces officers greeted the Prime Minister by presenting her with a bouquet of flowers. Of uh, these officers, 109 were army officers, 19 navy officers and 18 from uh, the Air Force. Among the army officers, three were lieutenant generals, 18 major generals, 19 brigadier generals, 7 colonels and 20 lieutenant colonels. Two of the Navy officers were rear admirals, seven commodores, six captains, and were from the Air Force. One was Air Vice Marshal, two were Air Commodores, eight group captains, and seven wing commanders. The newly appointed German ambassador to Bangladesh, Peter Fahrenholz, said Bangladesh is a country of great potential where German businesses are keen to contribute particularly in the power and energy sectors. This is what the envoy said as he paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, press secretary to the Prime Minister, it sounded very brief reporters after the meeting, which was held at the Prime Minister's office this morning. He said the German ambassador had appreciated highly Bangladesh's generosity and humanity in giving shelter to a large number of Rohingyas. Germany has so far allocated 75 million euros dollars to support the displaced people of Myanmar, the ambassador said. The Prime Minister highlighted the socio-economic development of Bangladesh and improvement of the living conditions of the people over the last 10 years. She pointed out the wage rise for ready-made garments workers. The import appreciated the Prime Minister's initiative in this regard. Later, outgoing Italian ambassador Mario Palmer paid a farewell call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. During the call, the ambassador praised the professionalism of the officials of Bangladesh's counter-terrorism and other law enforcing departments to make possible the quick start of the trial of the persons accused of the holy artisan attack on in July 2016. Expressing her steadfast stance against terrorism, the Prime Minister said the government had responded very quickly to combat the terrorists, bringing the situation under control within just a few hours. During the meeting, the Prime Minister expressed satisfaction over the level of relations and cooperation between the two countries and emphasized on continuation of these relations. Advisor to the Prime Minister on International Affairs, Dr. Gahu Rizvi, and Principal Secretary, Mohammed Mujibur Rahman were present, among others. The candidates are submitting their nomination papers in a festive mood to the returning officers at different places around the country. The nomination form in favour of President of Awami League and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina was submitted for the Gopal Ganj Constituency 3 at Tungipara this morning. The nomination papers of Prime Minister and Awami League President Sheikh Hasina and Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmi Chaudhary were submitted for Rangpur 6 constituency today. Dr. Shirin Sharmi Chaudhary first submitted the nomination paper on behalf of Sheikh Hasira to the Assistant Returning Officer. Later, the Speaker submitted her own nomination paper for the same constituency. Our Meeting General Secretary Bible Padu submitted his nomination paper for North Hali 5 constituency to the Assistant Returning Officer at Company Gond in Noakali today. Sites, Jashod President Hassan Al-Hawk Ilu submitted his nomination paper for Kushtia 2 constituency at the Assistant Returning Officer's office at Paramara in Kushtia this morning. 
Rashid Khan Menon submitted his nomination paper for Dhaka 8 constituency. Sagar Saint Chaudhary submitted his nomination paper for Dhaka 9. And Kamal Ahmed Mujumdar submitted his nomination paper for Dhaka 15 to the returning officer at the office of the Dhaka Divisional Commissioner today. Besides, candidates from other political parties also submitted their nomination papers for different constituencies of Dhaka. Election Commission Secretary Hilaluddin Ahmed has said showdown will not be allowed during submission of nomination papers. If anyone carries out showdown during submission of nomination papers for the 11th parliamentary election, legal action will be taken against him or her. He said this at a press conference at Nivashim Bhabun at Agargao in Dhaka today. He also said ministers and members of parliament have to go to returning officers' offices for submitting nomination papers by their private cars lowering the country flag. Election Commission Secretary said directives have already been given to concerned authorities to monitor the social media around the clock to resist any propaganda, rumors and conspiracies. A meeting of Awami Liaison and Election Monitoring Subcommittee was held at Awami President's political office in the capital today. Among others, the convener of the committee, Freedom Fighter Mohammad Rashid Al Alam, and Member Secretary Advocate Afzal Hussain spoke at the meeting. The speakers urged all to remain alert so that the evil forces cannot be able to create any anarchy centering the election. The High Court today said those who have been sentenced to over two years jail by any lower court in any draft case with appeal pending will not be allowed to contest elections. The High Court delivered the order responding to yesterday's petitions filed by five BNP leaders. Amanullah Aman, Dr. A.Z. and Zahid, Abdul Wadud Bhunya, Abdul Wahab and Moshe Rahman filed separate petitions under Section 426 of Criminal Offense with the High Court seeking stay orders on the lower court verdict in the draft cases filed against them. National Parliament election is knocking at the door and discussion, exchange of views are going on at every corner of the country. Citizens are not away from this phenomenon. Talking to the BTV, few enthusiastic persons expressed their thoughts over the upcoming general election. One said he is in publication business and before 10 years extortion, threats came from various corners that hampered his business. Now the situation is different and he has no worries for paying any illegal money. The business environment is very good, he said. He wants the situation to prevail. Another person said he wants to have a government who will continue the developmental work running. Another said it is very painful that a freedom fighter and a Ragatar are seeking votes with the same symbol in our country. Such paradox is not acceptable, he added. And that news, it's actually news. Russia has warned of escalation in Crimea over martial law in Ukraine. The warning comes after a court in Crimea said three captured Ukrainian sailors will be held in jail for two months. Russian President Vladimir Putin said Ukraine was responsible for the confrontation in Crimea and warned that the conflict could escalate because of Kiev's decision to declare martial law. In a phone call with German Chancellor Angela Merkel on Tuesday, Putin said he is seriously concerned about the weekend's incident. Merkel's spokesperson, Stephen Seibert, said the Chancellor in a conversation with Putin stressed the need for de-escalation and dialogue. Hours after the phone call between Moscow and Berlin, the Kremlin also issued a follow-up statement denouncing martial law in Ukraine. Donald Trump has suggested Theresa May's a Brexit agreement could threaten a US-UK trade deal. The US president told reporters the withdrawal agreement sounds like a great deal for the EU and meant that the UK might not be able to trade with the US. Number 10. 
Brexit said it's a very clear the UK would be able to sign trade deals with countries around the world. Downing Street added that Mrs May was ready to defend her deal in a TV debate with Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn. It's been reported the debate could take place on the 9th of December, just two days before the parliamentary vote on Mrs May's deal. After a seven-month space journey, NASA's Mars Insight Probe has reached its destination and touched down near the red planet's equator. The lander came to rest for the dusty surface shortly before 8 p.m. GMT on Monday after a nail-biting descent that started with a spacecraft slammed into the Martian atmosphere at 12,300 miles per hour and ended a minute later with a probe settling on the ground its thrusters quiet. Mission scientists cheered and hugged each other at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California when the lander beamed home signals of its arrival on the planet. Insight sent its first picture back within minutes of its a new home. It was much too obscured by dust, obviously kicked up by during the landing, but much clearer pictures are expected to be sent back soon. Insight, which is short, for interior exploration using seismic investigations, geodesy and heat transport will use a free instrument to study Mars. Back to National News. Chief of Army Staff General Aziz Ahmed delivered a keynote speech in a joint session of National Defense Corps at National Defense College in D.C. at Mirpur Cantonment in Dhaka today. In his speech, titled Possibility of Creating Viable Regional Security Architecture to Deal with Threats, Terrorism and Transnational Crime, General Aziz Ahmed discussed different aspects of terrorism, counterterrorism, transnational crime, security challenges, security goals, the role of army, and shared his opinion with course members. Commandant, faculty, staff officers of NDC and all the course members of National Defense Corps and Armed Forces War Corps 2018 attended the session. The World Film Archive Congress will be held in Dhaka in 2021. Information Secretary Abdul Malik has said government will take all necessary steps to make it successful. He was talking to visiting two representatives of International Film Archive Federation, Triaf, Christopher Dupin and Sivendra Singh as secretariat in the capital today. The representative proposed to arrange the conference from 28 March to 4 April 2021. Among others, Director General of Bangladesh Television S.M. Harna Rashid, Additional Secretary of Information Ministry Mohammad Azhar al Haq, and Director General in Charge of Film Archive Azizur Rahman and other high officials were present during the meeting. Bangladesh has been elected organizing country to arrange the Fiat Congress 2021 at the 74th Fiat Congress held in Prague this year. And now news from the world of sports. Bangladesh Cricket Board BTV has announced the 13 member squad today for the second test of the two match series against the West Indies opener Ingle Thais was rested. These recovering from shoulder injury. The members of the team are Captain Saki Bal Hassan, Shomu Shakar, Mohammed Bitu, Nominul Haq, Momidul Haq rather, Mushfiqur Rahim, Mahmudul Ariad, Nehdi Hassan Mirad, Mustafi Zurrahman, Tajul Islam, Naim Hassan, Arifu Haq, Zed Khaled Ahmed and Sadman Islam. The second and final match will start at the Mirpur Sheri Bangla National Stadium on the 30th of November. Bangladesh won the first test by 64 runs and lead the series. And now before we end the news, a look at what's taking the headlines here. 150 retired army armed forces officers express solidarity with the Awami League, leading President and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Germany and Italy express interest in cooperating more in power and energy sector as envoys call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Foundation Day 
papers for parliamentary elections being submitted to returning officers in different places across the country. Sheikh Hasina Pal's nomination for Gopal Gandhi has three and wrong for six constituencies. Last day for submission of nomination forms for parliamentary elections is tomorrow. Legal actions to follow for any showdown during filing nominations. Martian law declared in Ukraine following capture of the ships in Crimea coast. Russia reacts bitterly. And BCB announces a 13-member squad for the target test against the West Indies. Inward fires dropped. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for staying with us and we invite you to watch our 11 daily news. Until then, good afternoon.